We've got a couple of half dollar boxes to see if we can add more silver from circulation because my half dollar has been hot this year. Stay tuned for at least a two box half dollar hunt. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure and welcome back to the channel. I've got a couple of half dollar boxes here. I told everyone last week during the streams they looked new or at least mostly new and I popped open both of them. This one doesn't look as new as I thought from the bottom, but the bottom box looks almost all brand new. So, got to get the money back to the bank. Figured I'd hunt them, make a video. We'll start with these two. If they're terrible, we'll add in more, but really quickly on the year, 103 boxes I've hunted solo, 114 silvers found. That's the breakdown. We've killed it on the live streams. 78 boxes hunted live, 209 silvers found, crazy. So, year to date for 2024, 181 boxes, 323 silvers, hoping to add to that with these. But like I said, they don't look too promising, but either way, we're gonna hunt them. And as always, when I have a find, I'll bring you guys back in, if I have a find at all, other than the NIFCs, I'll just find those on the side and stack them and give you periodic updates if we have finds in between. That's a lot of talking. Let's do some hunting. Welcome back. That box was as bad as expected. Maybe even worse, only one find, a 2018 Denver NIFC. So glad I hunted that solo. But when you see the top of this next box, we could be in big trouble. I might need to add more boxes. Typically a box like this, I'd almost send back. But after closer inspection, it looks like we have a handful of circulated coins on this side and there are more than this on the other side so probably going to be a 50 percent brand new box probably not going to have any finds but i have had good luck hunting boxes like this in the past and finding silver so i figured i'd go ahead and hunt it get the money back to the bank and fingers crossed we get a find or two in the second box of this w bank which is normally my good bank hunt we're on roll number six, there are no finds. Just wanted to give you a quick look at how the rolls are looking. You can see there are some circulated coins mixed in here, but it's mostly 2023 Philadelphia's, which I am periodically scoping just in case we got one of the DDOs in here. Haven't seen one yet in my area. Let me get back to the hunt. Just wanted to show you what we're up against and probably not gonna have any finds. We're on roll number, what is that? 15 of the box and uh, we might have some action here. Take a look at the weight of the roll. I've teared this thing down to zero twice. I've put other rolls on there. We have a pretty heavy roll here, 226.4 on the roll. So uh, might have silver. Let's just go ahead and crack into it and see what we got. This is why I love coin roll hunting. This box was gonna be nothing. I went ahead and scored the side so I can get a window open for you guys. And take a look at that. We are gonna have what looks like a 90 percent or smack dab in the middle of the roll and yeah this is why you corner hunt these boxes even if they look mostly new you never know what you're gonna get and we're gonna get a denver minted 1964 90 percent or out of our efforts here and had i just sent this back to the bank we would not have found it and that is a 90 percent i was just checking for one of the ddos and it didn't have it 1964 denver first find of the box only 15 rolls in could we have more? I'll be back if we do. Well, unfortunately, there was nothing else in that box number two. We did get the silver. Pretty much all the other coins were mostly new, but I'll take it. Two boxes down. Let me decide on a third or possibly even a fourth box for this video. And I'll be back with that box on the table. See if we can add more goodies to this kind of scarce board. All right, we are back with the third box of the hunt. We might have to add another one, but I have a third box here for you guys. Hopefully, it's a good one. It's last week's NB Loomis box, my NB bank, and last week's, and it's Loomis wrapped rolls. We'll have to see how we do in this one. Let's take a peek in here, make sure we actually have circulated half dollars. And you know what? We do have some circulated half dollars in here, also some newer ones. Always 2023 Phillies and Denver's. I've yet to see more than only two total coins from 2024 as far as half dollars. Either way, you guys know the drill. Let's get on with the hunt. We do have silver on the board, so hopefully we can get one or two more before we're done with the hunt. Well, roll number 30 is going to give us silver, and I didn't film it ahead of time because the weight wasn't that much. Take a look at that old gray silver edge, and... Uh, yeah, look at under 226. So I didn't film it because it's under 226, but I pop it open 
And what is that, the sixth or seventh coin in? Looks like it's an old 90% silver coin. Holy cow. And there's someone painting the edges again. That, my friends, is going to be a 90. And I think it's going to be a Benji or a Walker based on its color. Let's take a peek. And I think it's a Walker. It is, holy smokes. Denver Mint Mark on the back. And that's an oldie. Oh, for a second, I thought it said 1921. I was about to lose my junk here, but it's 1941. 1941, Denver. Based on the wear, I thought it was a 21. I was ready to lose it, but we'll take it. Either way, that is a 90 to go along with a couple of NIFC so far in this box. 20 rolls left. Well, unfortunately, that Walking Liberty half dollar we found was the only one of its kind in that box, although I'll take boxes that are light on fines as long as the one silver is a Walking Liberty half dollar. So now after three boxes searched, because we added four more NIFCs, we have five NIFCs and two 90s. So two silvers in three boxes. I think I'm going to hunt one more. Maybe I'll add a fourth and final box to the hunt. I have a Black Rose box, and I also have another older Loomis wrapped box from the same week as this one. I'll have to take a gander at which one I want to bring up on the table. But let me go ahead and do that now. I'll get a box up on the table. We'll hunt it together, and we'll see if we have any good goodies in it. All right, I've decided to do the Black Rose box because in my area, they're either feast or famine, or they're brand new. If it's a feast of silver, I'm sorry. If it's a famine, you're welcome. Let's go ahead and crack this open and see if we have brand new ones or if we actually have a box to hunt if I can get my fingernail in there. Uh, you know what? We actually have a partially circulated box. Lots of new enders in here. And again, doesn't matter what bank branch I get them from. Lots of 2023 Phillies and Denvers. And you know what? This is looking pretty tough. There are quite a few in here, but you never know. We've been getting one-hit wonders in our boxes lately. Maybe we can get a one-hit wonder out of this one or more. Let me go ahead and begin the hunt and see if we can find any silver in the fourth and final box. Well, we're on roll number two of this fourth and final box. and We've already got two NIFs, no, three NIFCs, pardon me, for the first two rolls. And now we're going to have a proof right here, 1983. San Francisco minted proof coin, obviously a lower mintage, but it is in circulated condition, probably worth about a buck in this condition. I'll take it nonetheless, though, because now all we need is a miscellaneous and a 40 percenter for a fill the board hunt, although it's been four boxes just about. Let me get back to this box, see if there's more goodies where that came from. Well, unfortunately, that's going to do for this last box of this half dollar hunt. We didn't get any more proof coins in it. The last 48 or so rolls are pretty much just an NIFC fest. 14 NIFCs in that hunt. Let me get all of the four box finds on the board. I'll update the sheet and I'll be back with a look at the sheet and some final thoughts on this four box hunt. All right, we've got all of the four box finds here on the mat. We had 19 NIFC coins, but four are damaged or have the ring of death. I'll be sending those four back. These 15 are worth keeping for now. We got the proof coin and the 290s. Of course, I'll be feeding them to the silver jar. And I've updated all of my live hunts and my solo hunts since the beginning of this video. And this is the exact totals as of right now. 107 boxes hunted solo, 116 silvers found. The breakdown of 40s and 90s there on the left. 82 boxes hunted live. 218 silvers found live, and that's the breakdown. Now, for 2024, 189 boxes searched on the year, 334 silvers. Holy cow, looks like I just need to search some more boxes to elevate those totals. Maybe I can hit five or 600 silvers on the year at the end of the year, if we're so lucky. We'll have to see. Hopefully, despite the last few boxes kind of being duds, you guys still enjoyed this four-box hunt. I know I did. Anytime you can add goodies to the collection, and especially silver to the jar, you can't get mad at that. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. A fed silver jar is a happy silver jar. Isn't that right, buddy?